Uh, we're gonna just get into the gameplay, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's Zamba and Jen getting off for our first winner side top eight. Four star, how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> My apologies to those watching. I said to Jen and Zamba, they can start without actually introducing the commentators. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry. So blame numbers. <laughs> we can we can continue on that trend as uh, Zamba gets off to a pretty hot start. It's pretty popping day here at Zeno. And I remember pretty distinctly that Zamba uh, encouraging, uh, in the New York way that people encourage each other, uh, Jen to come out to Zeno this week. And lo and behold, they have to play in top eight. Yeah, got some very heavy hitters coming out today. Of course, having Zamba and Jen right now here in winner's semis. Yeah, right in. Yeah, Zamba right now, <laughs> really putting on a clinic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is kind of tough, right? Like, just seeing seeing Zamba go into the, just into his full bag of tricks into Jen and calling out so much and supplying so much pressure and coverage as Zamba is known to do and finishing that stock off in a simple, matter-of-fact way with yet another arm rotor closing it down on the uh, teleporter ledge. Yep, just an easy reaction to that high warp angle from Jen. Right now, though, Jen potentially going to be able to set up some ledge pressure of his own, but Rob being the character at that he is able to take that high road and just make things that much harder for Jen. Yeah, we're reaching this, as we continue into this game, Zamba missing the catch on his gyro, but again, like Rob's recovery is just so good. Like, we're at this interesting uh, interaction point where Jen now is basically in both simultaneous go next mode and what do you do mode. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, you, you want to get into the next game, but at the same time, you know, what data can you still get out of game one? Uh, there's not a whole lot. Yeah, it was, download got cut out, cut short a little quickly. And it's legitimate, right, Force? Like, you see, like, you'll hear about this in practice sessions with a lot of players, and where you want to play against players that are at or around your skill level, either slightly above or slightly below, because you don't learn anything from players significantly worse than you, but in the same vein, you don't learn much from playing against players significantly better than you. And not to say that uh, Zombie is significantly better than Jen, but like you don't get a lot of data from games like that. You just feel like, damn, I, I kind of got washed. I, let's I move keep on. getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> let's move on to the next one. And he still is getting hit. <laughs> All right, those, some of those reversal nares are really going to have to put in uh, put in work for Jen here. The oh gyro. my <laughs> Gyro just throwing a wrench in Jen's plans right now. That being said, though, Jen is starting to find his footing, catching that high recovery with the up air. As well. Just pick up the gyro, please. A, numbers has a whole guide on it, please. <laughs> There's a whole YouTube guide. Someone hasn't watched my video. <laughs> oh, but Ooh, they have go. gone to the school of hard knocks when it comes to edge guarding after multiple edge guards in the previous game, and Jen able to give one back in kind with that deep back air. Let's see if uh, let's see how Zamba handles a being on the back foot and Jen at least having a lead here, so you can now comfortably play this dashback game and more comfortably put yourself in a position where Rob is much more punishable, like that whip punish on the up air, but nothing more, of course. Yep, and right now Zamba looking to find some uh, juggles of his own, but not quite finding it either. I believe the gyro right now is on the other side of the stage, so not available to Zamba. Oh, it despawned. All right, so long, Gyro. So so long, Gyro, part two. Oh, <laughs> so long, Jen, part three. The F tilt, uh, high angled F tilt, by the way, from uh, from Zamba there. Not only to catch like, the standard, the standing, but also to ensure if Jen jumps early that he can still catch it. Mm -hmm. Right now, these down Ooh. tilts putting in work for Jen, setting up Zamba for some more ledge pressure. Right now, Jen is really uh, starting to find his footing here in this center stage. Ooh. That's a lost jump for Jen. Has to hi recover high on the platform. Very nice mix-up. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to reach that platform, and neither did Zamba, it seems. Able to get there in turn, but that almost closing out the stock with the up air, just barely not reaching those high ceilings. Let's see if how Jen is able to get down here, just trying to utilize this back air to control enough space to call for Ooh. a landing. Another up tilt, another utilization of those ceilings. But man, Jen is... 
putting the chase down on Zamba here for Sandy, but having a lot of coverage and having a lot of utilization of the fact that Palutena can reliably whip punish anybody in the cast. Mm -hmm. That being said, though, the, I, I love the way that Zamba has been using the back air when he's in a juggle situation to just change up his spacing in this kind of weird, unorthodox way to make it so that Jen is not able to find these up airs. That being said, though, Jen able to find Zamba's second stock and potentially bring us to a game three. Very close. This is a very, uh, very high lack of resources, but Jen is able to get back and at least do a little bit of damage. Oh man, I've been loving some of these like, grounded anti-airs from Jen. We haven't, really, you don't really see those all that much mm -hmm. from Palutena, like utilizing up tilt as a like, coverage move instead of just a finisher, but. Jen trying to pull out all the stops here and just find a way to slow down Zamba from just raw naring at him like time and time again. Ooh. Ooh. Gyro catching the startup of Warp and that's gonna be Zamba bringing us to basically an even game. And once again, just really mixing up his landings, making sure that Jen is not able to continue this advantage state. That parry on the, on the rising there was so good. So much damage on each turn, but that Z drop out of shield from Jen, but no jump in him in turn. Again, getting caught with so many of these forward airs, trying to go for a grab there with Zamba, trying to see if Jen would uh, hold shield. But this has been a scrappy set, and neither of these players look like they're willing to give an inch without at least fighting back. And I love these warp angles coming out from Jen, these like low angles to the ledge. Very difficult, very uh, like high tech skill coming out from Jen. The up air is actually going to be taking it. I didn't think he was going to die there. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> But the, I guess the uh, BPI was a little bit late, maybe, but it looked pretty good from my mm -hmm. perspective. But I mean, sometimes them's the breaks, right? Zamba stomping straight through Jen here as we get a look at some of these replays, and there were some, there were some solid ones here, especially on like on Jen's counter pick. He felt much more comfortable uh, on in terms of playing around the platforms. We saw high recoveries to platforms. We saw. Uh, teleport angles to ledge as you called out for us. Mm -hmm. Like Jen just seeming like he was in his element playing around this stage and playing extremely well. But sometimes when you got Zamba feeling the juice, like he just he just doesn't quit. He's yeah. all at you all the time, willing to get down and dirty and force these really bad scrambles that it feels like he just has the upper hand in every time. Yeah, and it, it really felt like even though Jen was coming into this game two with a lot more momentum than he had in game one, obviously, Zamba was just not shaken in, no, in the slightest. He was, he was moving and grooving and uh, moving straight into winner's finals where he will play against, uh, what's our next set here? Uh, we are probably going to be seeing up next Mega versus Gatsby as our next winner's semis. Yeah, Mega. So this is like two players that are going on quite a run here. I know Gatsby took